Peace be upon you, my dear students, my sons and daughters, third year secondary students. Today, we will continue studying the Brazil of Zenda, hot questions, and this is part two. You remember, hot questions means higher order thinking questions. الأسئلة التي تتطلب مستويات عليا من التفكير. Today with me, my dear niece, Samah. You are welcome, Samah. Thank you very much. How are you? Fine, thanks. Are you fine? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, are you happy to share uh, with me this video? Of course, it's a pleasure. You are welcome. Let's start. In your opinion, who deserves to be the king? Michael or the real king? You know that there is a conflict between Michael, the half-brother of Rodolf Elfberg, and Rodolf Elfberg himself. Michael wanted to take the crown. He wanted to be the king, although he didn't have the right to be the king. You know that he is not older, and at the same time, his mother was not royal. What's your opinion, Sabah? From my point of view, if Michael hadn't been unfair, greedy, bloody, cruel, or wicked, he would have made a good king. But it's human nature. He, wa he also had no legal claim to the throne, as his mother was not royal. Right. So, Michael was greedy, you know. He was unfair. غير عادل بالمرة. Bloody. Yes, right. Bloody. كان دمويا. Cruel or wicked. He would have made a good king. In fact, he had been. But it's a human nature. Of course, it's a human nature because he had been cruel, he had been wicked, and at the same time he had been bloody. You know, he kidnapped his brother and he wanted to kill him. In fact, he poisoned him and so on. So he was bloody. He was greedy for power. He wanted to be the king, although he didn't have the right. And what makes this is that his mother was not royal. Right. Next. On the contrary, the real king was kind but lived for himself only he was always abroad so he didn't know anything about his people moreover he was kind but naive only the rich wanted him to be the king do you know the meaning of the word naive my students excellent naive can right next on the other hand someone may think that michael deserves to be the king because he wait the... Sana. Yeah. here we have another point of view some people might say that michael should be the king instead of Rodolf elfberg why Sama? they think because he lived among people especially the poor and so he was aware of their sufferings and problems excellent Sama. in fact uh, Michael lived among his people, especially the poor. He cared for them. He gave them hope in the future. And at the same time, he tried to solve their problems. So those people who see that Michael should be the king because he lived among people might be right. What else, Samah? His popularity was so great that people wanted him to be their king. He promised uh, his poor people some kind of change right thank you next despite his promises to guard the king's bedroom Fred's was careless discuss you remember when Rodolf Rassendeland sapped left the, the, the palace and went to um, Zinda to the hunting lodge to get the king back they left Fred's to guard the king's bedroom but do you think Samah that <clears throat> Fritz was careless or not when they came back, when they returned? How was Fritz, do you think? When Sapt and Rosendel returned to the palace, they found him asleep. Right, excellent. In fact, Fritz was asleep when they returned to the palace, and this is a kind of carelessness. So, we can say that Fritz was careless. Next, while Sapt was patient and cunning, Fritz was a rash. 
en las tres. Do you know the meaning of the word cunning, Sama? Yes. What does it mean? In Arabic? In Arabic, yes. It means maker. Maker, thing. excellent. And rash, what do you mean by a rash? In Arabic, it means mundafa. Mundafa, mutahawar, excellent. In las tres, Sama? Sab preferred, preferred to wait and see what Michael would do. Wait, Sama? Yes. Uh, in the first part, we know that Sabt was a far-sighted man and he was a planner rather than a man of action. So all the time, Sabt preferred to wait and see what Michael would do. He is not a rash, but the man who is not a rash, he is, who is a rash, is a Fritz in fact. On the other hand, Samah? Yes, actually, on the other hand, Fritz wanted to attack Michael at once. Right. Thank you. Next. What was the first evidence that the king was still alive? Evidence, Samah, in Arabic means? Dalil. Right. What was the first ev evidence that the king was still alive, do you think? Half of Michael's six men, the foreigners, were with him in Strelso. That meant the other half, the Euritanians, were guarding the king, so he must have been alive. My dear students, do you remember Michael's six famous men. I think you remember them. Right. The foreigners. Well done. The foreigners are Dietrich, the Englishman. Well done. Personen, the Belgian. And number three, De Gaute. Excellent. The Frenchman. These are the foreigners. And the foreigners were following Michael wherever he went in Strelso. But the Ruritanians. Who can remind us of the Roditanians? Well done. Thank you. The Roditanians are Craveston, Longram, and excellent. Rupert Henzel. The three Roditanians were guarding the king in the castle of Zinda. And that means that the king must be alive. Thank you. Next. Rosendale gained the real king's popularity. How did he achieve this? Popularity, popularity, Shabia, well done. How did he achieve this? How could Rodolf Rosendale be popular? Yes, Samah? He went to the poor town more often. He waved to the people who bowed to him. He also visited Princess Flavia a lot, a lot to benefit from her popularity. Do you remember Samah when he got off his horse on his way to Flavius Palace? He got off his horse uh, to buy some uh, flowers from a poor girl and he gave her a gold coin. Do you remember that scene? Yes, sure. Right. And he wanted to get popularity. He knew that poor people loved the Flavia. And if, yes, poor people supported the Flavia, of course they would support him. During Rosendil's first visit to Flavius Ballas, he missed Sabt's company. Company here, my dear students, means company. معناها كده. Right. الصحبة. افتقر إلى صحبة سابت. أو افتقد صحبة سابت. Discuss this, Samah, please. Fritz didn't remind Rosendil to give Michael permission to enter which caused Rosendal to make a terrible mistake. If Sabt had been there, he would have reminded him. My dear students, do you remember the scene when Michael went to Princess Flavia's palace and Rosendal didn't give him the permission to enter the room? If Sabt had been there, of course, he would remind him. But in fact, Fritz didn't remember. So Rodolf Rosendal was in a critical situation, in fact. Next. Michael was not less a good actor than Rosendil. He was not less a good actor than Rosendil. Both of them are actors, in fact. Rodolf Rosendil is impersonating the character of the King Will. And Michael was acting when he met Rodolf Rosendil at Princess Flavia's, Flavia's Palace. Illustrate with a situation. What happened during that scene? At Flavia's house, Michael was trying to pretend, just pretend, just pretend that he thought that Rosendil was the real king. He was fake. Excellent. 
Rosendil knew that Michael was fake and that he was pretending that he thought that Rosendil himself was the real king. But in fact, Rosendil was not the real king and Michael knew that. Thank you, Samah. Next question. Number eight, even thanking stirred Michael's anger. Even thanking, thanking, a shock, stirred Michael's anger. What do we mean by stirred Michael's anger? Samah in Arabic. Right. Excellent. Um, Athara Ghadabu. Shu how? How did Rasendil stir Michael's anger when he thanked him? And for what did he thank him? Uh, do you remember, my dear students? Right. He thanked him for hosting him in the hunting lodge and for what else? And for the coronation. Well done. Can you remind us, Samah? Tell us the answer, please. When Rosendil, th when Rosendil thanked him for the great time he had had at the hunting lodge and the, and the splendid coronation, Michael jumped to his feet and angrily walked towards the door. Thank you. Next, a smile can cause worry and even fear. Prove with an example from that novel. A smile. My dear students, who smiled in the novel? Can you remember the scene? A smile can cause carry worry. A smile can cause worry and even fear. When did this happen? Right. Right. Yes, teacher. When teacher smiled to Rodolf Rasendela when he spoke, and a Britain English accent. Thank you. Listen to Samah, please. When Rosendal spoke to Dietrich in a pretend in a pretend foreign English accent, he smiled. That meant that Dietrich and all the six men knew who Rosendal was. So he felt worried and afraid. Well done. Next. If you were rolled with Rosendal, would you accept the task or not? And give your reasons. Samah, imagine that you were in Rodolf Rasendil's uh, situation. Yes, uh, would you accept to play the role of the king or not? Of course, he would accept. Goodness should be supported and evil should be faced. We should help others when we can. Then we will feel better for doing so. Excellent, Samah. Um, you remember the moral of the story this year, my dear students. We should help others when we can, because we will feel better then for doing so. And Rodolf Elfberg needed help at that time. When Rodolf Rasendil saw him lying on the floor, yes, he sympathized with him, in fact, and he decided to play the role of the king after Sap persuaded him. So we can say that Sap was a persuasive man. Despite his clever plan, Sabt made a fatal mistake. What was it? You remember his plan to save the coronation. There was a mistake there that was made by Mike by uh, Sabt. I'm sorry. What was the fatal mistake that Sabt made? Do you think? Let's us. Let's think about that. Samah, tell us the answer, please. He left the king in the cellar depending on luck and a weak servant, Joseph. Yes. In fact, the weakness in Sabt's plan is that they left the king while he was poisoned by the poisonous cakes that Michael ordered. They left him in the cellar in the hunting lodge with Joseph. And you know that Joseph was just a servant, a weak servant, and he cannot protect the king. In fact, this is a fatal mistake that um, Sabt made in his plan. Next, Rosendil had some hard skills as well as soft skills that helped him replace the king. Hard and soft. Hard, hard skills and soft skills. Do you think, Samah, what are the hard skills that Rodolf Rosendil has? The hard skill he has was uh, that he was a good swordsman. Excellent. Uh, he was good with guns. Right. 
and a good horseman in fact yes excellent and what about the soft skills they think what do you mean by soft skills soft skills مهارات ناعمة what are these try to to yes remember what are the soft skills what about languages how many languages does he speak he speaks five languages excellent actually. excellent yes these are the soft skills read the answer please he looked exactly like the king his German was perfect he was good with the gun and and strong swordsman and very good at riding horse you know that people in Ruritania speak German and Rudolf Frassendl was perfect in German in fact his German was perfect so this is one of soft skills that helped him to play the role of the king next one why do you think the station guard was surprised try to think my dear students think Samah about that why do you think the station guard was surprised because they arrived one hour earlier than expected uh, right excellent but some guards also Samah were surprised uh, if you remember when they were at the borders when they were at the borders of Floritania the guards were also surprised right why because Rodolf Frasendil was exactly like the king but when they reached the station the guard at the station was surprised of course as you said because Rodolf Frasendil arrived an hour earlier the king arrived an hour earlier it was supposed that they will arrive at six o'clock but they arrived at five so they were or the guard was surprised because because the king Rosendil arrived earlier than planned and he was without guards next why do you think Antoinette's expression changed when the Britain king locked at her do you remember this scene expression right تعبيرات وجهها تغيرت when she was standing on a balcony and Rodolf Rosendil locked at her she changed her expression what do you think my dear students what do you think Samah do you have an answer yes sure she probably knew Michael's plans and didn't expect to see the king in the procession procession right procession معناها كده الموكب she didn't expect to see the king in fact she expected to see Michael in the procession because Michael might have told her about his plan to be the king to take the crown so she didn't expect anyone she didn't expect the king himself Rodolf Elfberg to be in the coronation she expected to see Michael but when she saw Rodolf Rasendel yes in two brackets I mean the king her expression changed because she didn't expect to see the king there Thank you. Next. What order did Rasendil give the marshal twice? The order, al amr keda. Did Rasendil give the marshal? Oh, do you remember the marshal? Yes. The most important man in the army. There was an order that Rasendil gave the marshal twice. What was that order, Samah? He ordered him to tell his soldiers to go ahead of him. Right. In fact, he ordered him to tell his soldiers to go ahead of him and told him that he didn't need him or the soldiers. And that means that Rodolf Rasendil was a brave man. And at the same time, he wanted to show his people that their king trusted them. Next, class distinction mm. was clear in the capital city, in Estrelso class distinction my dear students class excellent al-fawariq al-tabaqiyya was clear in the capital city yes discuss this statement how many parts were there in, in a strength so of the capital city how many there were two parts two parts what were they they were the old part old and part the new part and the new part the new part yes. where did poor people live they lived in the poor the poor part in of the, the poor city part. what about the rich the rich lived in the new part of the city excellent who supported michael the rich or the poor the poor what do you think because he gave them a hope in the future right Samah. well brilliant say the answer please Stressel was partly old and partly new. 
Rich people lived in large houses in wide modern streets. They had lived well under the king's father, so they supported the king because they knew that nothing will change. Right. So, rich people lived in the a new part of the town, and they supported the king because they lived happily under the king's father, of course. And at the same time, they knew that they or nothing would change. What about poor people, Samah? Poor people lived in narrow streets. They were crowded into very small houses. The houses were old and hot in summer, and very cold in winter. Poor people lived. Poor people did not want things to stay the same. They supported Duke Michael because he gave them hope for a better future. Thank you. Next, the castle of Zinda was fortified. 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 Well done, Muhassana. Discuss that. If you look at the pictures, Amah, you can find the castle of Zinda and the mansion. What linked the mansion to the castle of Zinda, Samah? What the, was it? The draw bridge. The draw bridge. And what was around the castle of Zinda? The mansion. Uh, around the moat. Yeah, the moat. Yes, the moat. But the mansion was behind, in fact. Let's see the answer. It's very old, but well built. It has a moat around, all around it. Behind it, there is a mansion, which the Duke used as a country house. It can only be reached by a drawbridge between it and the mansion. It, wa it wa was well defended. Excellent. Number 18. Why is Princess Flavia to blame? Dear students, Princess Flavia is to blame. Kana la budda an tulam. Let's think about this question. Why is Princess Flavia to blame? Right. Princess Flavia is the cousin of Rodolf Elfberg. Well done. But when she saw Rodolf Rassendil, she couldn't realize that he was not her cousin. He was not Rodolf Elfberg. What about you, sir? She didn't realize that Rassendil was not the real king, although Rodolf Elfberg was her cousin. Excellent. Until we meet again in part number three to discuss some hot questions, some higher order thinking questions with my best wishes thank you and goodbye ما تنسوش تعملوا لايك وتشتركوا في القناه وفعلوا الجرس عشان توصلكم الاشعارات شكرا لكم ابنائي بناتي طلبه وطالبات الصف الثالث الثانوي والسلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته